The gray crane, also known as the African crowned crane is every bit as majestic as its name suggests. The gray crane is long-legged, have gray bodies, white wings with brown and gold feathers, white cheeks, and bright red gular sacs underneath their chins. Most strikingly, a spray of stiff golden feathers forms a crown around their heads. The gray-crowned crane is the national bird of Uganda and features in the country's flag and coat of arms. The gray crane can live up to 22 years in the wild. Have you ever seen a crane soaring across the skyline? Is yes, here is widely believed meaning of crane sightings. Crane sightings can remind you to keep your spirit soaring high, defying the limitations of age. Go outside, play football. Ride a bike while enjoying the outdoors. Or just lay in a lush green field. Crane sightings can also be the universe's way of telling you it's time to dance. Habitat and diet. Gray-crowned cranes can be found in mixed wetland. Grasslands habitats in eastern and southern Africa. They forage for grass seeds, small toads, insects, and other invertebrates. Gray-crowned cranes are also known to forage on millet, potatoes, and soya beans being grown on farms near their habitats. They roost in water. Or perched in high spots like trees or electricity poles. Cranes also come together as flocks, but only outside of breeding season. Reproduction. Cranes are highly territorial during the breeding season, which usually takes place in the rainy months. Cranes build nests in or along the edges of the wetlands. Unfortunately, the gray-crowned crane is at a very high risk of being endangered. In 2012, the gray crane was uplisted from vulnerable to endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN. The current estimated population has declined from 100,000 in 1985 to less than 33,500. Humans are one of the greatest threats that gray-crowned cranes face. Some want the birds as decorative pets to show off in their yards as status symbols. Others believe their eggs and feathers have medicinal properties. Widespread poaching and illegal trade. Some farmers even intentionally poison cranes to stop them from foraging in their crops. Gray-crowned cranes have also been killed in collisions with power lines. Deforestation and climate change degrade the crane's wetland habitat. Here are some of the actions that people can take to conserve and preserve the gray crane from the threat of extinction. 1. Increase breeding success and reproductive rates. 2. Reduce significantly further loss, fragmentation, and degradation of habitats. 3. Train a network of volunteers to help combat poaching and monitor crane populations across the country. 4. Restore roost sites, with communities planting native trees. 5. Scale up outreach to reduce demand for illegal trade. 6. Enact more laws protecting the gray crane. Thanks for watching. For more interesting animal videos, keep it here. Please like, subscribe and share.